going on guys i'm steve welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video if it's your first time stopping by the channel hit that subscribe button trust me you won't regret it you're returning subscriber as always guys welcome back and i do appreciate your support guys i'm going to talk a little bit about in fact i want to show you a video and this video occurred august 30th of this year 2023 and it involves a man called michael kirkland he's 40 years old this is a police shooting that occurred in uh, Austin, Texas. I mean, San Antonio, Texas. Correction. Supposedly, this man assaulted a public official. And for some reason, there was a warrant out for him. Well, not for some reason. I mean, it is what it is. A warrant was out for him. They located the car he was driving. And uh, the reason why I'm showing you this video is two and a half minutes long. And it's not mine. Shout out to police activities. This is their footage. And uh, it's a lot of lawlessness out here. I mean, it's a lot of people that just, even in the presence of police, with guns drawn on them, they do some of the craziest stuff. I'm going to go ahead and play this. And I want you to take a look. And we'll come back and talk about it, as always. Check it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was the video, and it shows the sad expiration of 40 year old Michael Kirkland. <clears throat> Three things stand out to me after watching that video. First thing is this the girl was driving. Cops got behind her. They stopped. It was a second before she got out the car. She jumped out the car in haste and pointed. Look, I don't know if she warned him that he got a gun or not, but the one cop had his gun out already because they had him boxed in and then took off running. So I don't know what made him run. But the thing is, you're doing dirt and you got your girlfriend with you or you got a girl with you, period. I never understood that. If you go and do a crime or something like that, why would you involve your woman? I mean, now she wasn't the one that attacked the person. He attacked the person. Why would she even participate even if she knew or not? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know if she knew, but I mean, something was transpiring in that car where he said something like, hey, I ain't going back to jail. I'm, I'm going to shoot out. We're going to get in the shootout or get out now or something. She jumped out the car immediately. Point. Hey. She said something. I guess he got a gun or something. A lot of people ain't down with the games a lot of people play out here with their lives. And they endanger the lives of others. 
He, he took off. Second thing, he jumped in the car, stuck his head out. Took off. Crashed into police cars. Bat out of hell down the street. Driving crazy, going through stop signs. Winds up getting into a major collision where he tried to jump out the car before getting rear-ended by the cop. Could have killed himself and other people. That's the thing. These people do these crimes. They turn into like children where like their desperation is crazy. They will run people over. We see that in news stories. They getting away from people, crashing, rear-ending into people, paralyzing them. The damage is done. All in an attempt to get away from something they shouldn't have been doing in the first place. He running down the street, gun in hand. They like drop the gun. They're not gaining distance. They fire on them. Now, I don't know what the police protocol is, but they were shooting on him like him at a, like a duck hunt. When he was on that freeway, it was cars coming and everything. I'm like, yo, any of them bullets could have jumped or whatever. I don't know what the protocol is. Like they say, hey, if you see a shot, just shoot. But man, that's a crazy scene. Can you imagine just driving down the highway and then most likely with the windows up and that distance, you probably didn't hear the shots. But uh, you got a guy running down the street trying to stop people and stuff, an armed man. It's crazy. Never underestimate the desperateness of somebody that's running from the law. That's another thing. Why do you do, if you don't want to go to jail, why do you do shit that sends you to jail? In a fit of anger, nobody can come and calm themselves down. Or take it to the point where you don't have to come to blows. No matter what you was dealing with, you don't have to put your hands on the person. And you know once you let them hands go, you can't take that back. Sorry is not enough. Just like when you take a life or injure somebody they ain't got nothing to do with the development you're doing. I can't feel nothing for this dude. I can't. He brought it on himself. I mean, where are you going to run? You were shot. You see the way he was walking? Oh, stupid. He was already hit. Where are you going to go? Any hospital you check into, it's going to be police waiting right there because they know they hit you. So you're going to get in somebody's car, take their car, car like their car, get in their car, bleed out, and die and crash their shit up? Man, crime do not pay. I don't know why, man. Listen, stupid stuff. But all in all, they aired him out. And it's messed up. You punch somebody. Could have just went and did that small amount of time. That's nothing. What, an aggravated assault or something? It ain't worth your, losing your life. And if you're in fear, you know, uh, having a warrant or something like that, skedaddle. You see people a lot of times, they know they're in trouble, no people looking for them, and hang out in the street and act like nothing ever happened, like they won't get noticed. Police got technology they don't even tell you about. Like, I didn't know they had uh, on police cars, on the top of some of them F SUVs. They got a box up there that scans license plates all around them. You could drive by, the cop ain't, don't even have to see you. And the thing is, scan the license plate and say, okay, that's a stolen car. That's why these kids are being in these, all these crashes, because the police just come out of nowhere on them, and they don't even know how they got there, and now they panic, and they take off. All in all, at least the girl survived. Shit. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Man, leave me a comment, man. This mess is crazy. Man. My San Antonio viewers are out there, man. You got some more information on what happened? Share it with the audience in the comments section. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.